Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about a very interesting and important visual which is available within Power BI. Obviously, it's a third party visual that is available which you need to download. But take a look at this particular visual and the features that this visual has to offer and this will make you go wow. So let's get started. So what I have over here is uh, a data of different companies. You can have data of your different employees or you can have the data of your uh, leadership team. You can have your hierarchy there. And then what, we, what I have over here is I have the details of all of these uh, five companies that I have over here. Their CEO uh, names being displayed over here and which company they belong to. And uh, since when they are, uh, the CEO of the company and that, that's the information right now I have over here and if I click on these uh, this option over here the cards will flip and it, this will show you the all the metadata information that I would like to display for example over here I'm displaying the name of the company I'm displaying who's the CEO I'm displaying uh, since when he is the CEO and what are my sales figures for FY21 and FY22. Likewise, you can have different things to display on your particular details. And the other interesting cool thing here is that let's say if you want to click on this and look for more information, you can simply click here and take a look at the uh, details of that particular company or whatever information that you want to display over here. And I have this little arrow here to switch between the uh, companies or employees or anything that you would want to display so I have that option here as well and I can just scroll through like this and see the information and likewise I can just flip back and have this information over here and scroll through down below this there's a little icon here indicating which company or the employee I am looking at right now and uh, you can click this button to uh, minimize the information that is available and you can click on this button here to flip between the uh, uh, cards over here and show the meta information so isn't this a really cool uh, visual which is available and uh, which i haven't used it until now so i'm quite excited to use this going forward so i'm going to teach you how to set this up uh, so let's get started with this tutorial so let's start from scratch i'm going to go here click on new file so this is the data that i have over here let me click on transform data and uh, show you what i've got over here and what all information you need to display all of the information that is required okay this is the data that i have over here let me quickly rename the table just call this as data for now and uh, these are the uh, columns that i have for example i have company name i have ceo name i have your founder description the uh, something different that i have over here is i have html color so uh, i need to give the uh, html color over here i'm going to explain why i need this particular html color column and then i have a url here this is the url that i'm using to display the uh, image of the ceo and i have something called as badge over here this is nothing but basically uh, what you saw here uh, at, um, let me just go back what you saw saw here uh, you're seeing the logo of the companies being used Asian paints Bajaj TCS etc so that is why we need the uh, badge over here that is what that is the URL that I have over here so this is all the data that I have right now but you can play around with it there are endless things that you can do using this visual right so let me close and apply and this is the data that I have now imported into a new power bi file okay so once you have imported your data what you need to do is you need to go to google and uh, you need to type in card browser power bi card browser power bi and open the first link that you see over here and download the visual this is the visual that i'm talking about you can click on get it now download the visual i have already downloaded so i'm not going to download that again i'm going to click on these three ellipses over here and click on import a visual from a file and then you can go to downloads and uh, import the file that we have downloaded okay you it will you will see something like this over here so let's click on this particular visual and let's expand this particular visual over here so we've now got 
the visual so let's start adding in information into this particular visual okay so the first thing it's asking us for a document id in this case over here let me pull in the uh, company name over here into the document id and it's asking for the title let's add add in ceo name over here okay so we've got the ceo name sorted and uh, we need the picture of the uh, we need the picture of the uh, ceo so which is if you scroll down there is a title image url over here so it's asking for url so i'm going to click on this and bring this field and you will automatically see all the images are being displayed over here okay so there is a preview field over here so let's see what happens when you add some uh, information over here let's add your founded over here so you will see that it's now displaying the year founded over here or uh, year founded. Let's actually rename this. This is actually uh, CEO since. So I'm going to rename this. Okay. So this is CEO since. And uh, and then there is a, a section here for, to add the content. So I'm going to add the description field that I have over here, which will add all the descriptions that I have. Okay. And then uh, there are some, there are subtitle fields. Let's add, uh, um, let's say, uh, CEO sends again over here. So this will start repeating again. So let's not add that, but you can, however, add something else if you want to. And then there is bad ima badge image URL. You can simply pull in the badge uh, column over here. You will see the icons now being displayed over here. And then there is metadata fields, right? Right now, uh, you don't see the uh, button over here for me to flip the badge because I've not added any metadata fields over here. So we can start adding metadata fields. So for example, let's add the uh, company name first and then let's add the CEO name. Let's add FY21 sales and let's add FY22 sales. Right. And you can add in more number of columns that you want to display over here. So the moment you add metadata fields, you will see that this particular icon is now enabled, which is nothing but the flipping icon. And you can click on this and see all of the information that is available over here. And you can simply rename this to say company name, company name. And then this is going to be CEO name or just CEO. Right. And then when you click on this, you will see that this is being flipped and company name, CEO, FI21 sales, FI22 sales are being displayed, right? And likewise, if you click on this particular visual over here, you will see that this is now expanded and it is giving you a lot more information. Now, all of this information that you see over here is being picked up from the content field that we just pulled, which is nothing but description. So if you, you need to have all of the data that you want to display over here in a particular column. And when you pull that into the content field, you will see all of that information being displayed over here, along with the metadata information that we have over here, which are the, these four columns. And you can have multiple columns over here. Okay. And then let's move to the next section, which is top bar color. Now, this is something that uh, we added a HTML color, if you remember. And what happens with the top bar is that like right now you don't see any colors over here in the top bar. So let's pull in the top bar and see what happens or the HTML color into the top bar color section and see what happens. You will see that the colors have now changed over here. So when you click over here, you will see that color being displayed here. Likewise, if I click on this, the uh, blue color is being displayed over here. Right. So we've added all of this information over here and let's go to the uh, format visual tab. So here you will see some of the information. For example, I have shadow here on my cards. You can simply turn this off and that shadow will disappear over there. And uh, shadow is a nice thing to look, to have in your dashboard. And you have your date format, your title image on metadata. So if you turn this off, the uh, title image this gets disappeared and you can also change the card width right now it's a 200 you can change this to let's say 300 and you will see that the tiles have now become slightly bigger and uh, if you're not able to accommodate over here the cards move down over here and uh, there's card height as well for example let's say just 100 you can have that as well you can have the smaller cards to display right now i'm going to reset to default so we have what we had and then there is filter and there is crop images so if you click on off crop images you will see something like this which is not very much aligned uh, when compared to the images because of course the sizes of the image differ and if i click on this all of these are in the uh, one particular format and then there is reader view reader view is nothing but this over here you have the header color you can change the header color over here to 
whatever color that you would want to have for example like this over here you can change this to blue and i'm gonna uh, reset this to default for now okay and then there is metadata format you can change the size text size of this meta information that you have over here and you can change the uh, color of the titles that you have over here and then you can play around with the values font size etc and then there is this flip option that we have over here if you click on flip off you will not get the option here to flip and see the meta information right so right now it's an off we've selected the card face as preview and if you turn this on and select metadata and turn this off then you have the uh, metadata information being displayed over here rather than the preview right so i like to keep this on because i like this little flipping option that we have in this particular visual so that was about the uh, format visuals over here and then you have the basic title and effects properties that we have over here for this particular visual and uh, so isn't this a really cool uh, visual to have in your dashboard i'm sure you've learned something new today so please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials